What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Minecraft Tutorials. Today, I've got the lab here. Dog's lab. You'll understand why it's called Dog's Lab in a second. Because I have my friend in there. <laughs> but, today I'm going to be showing you how to make a water breathing potion. Um, this is in, uh, in the new update. Because... In a few more updates or snapshots or whatever, there's gonna be water temples and everything, and you got you're gonna have to be underwater for a long time. So I'm gonna show you how to make water breathing potions. So without further ado, let's get into this poo. Okay, so the first thing you're going to need is what the recipe is. Oh, don't need that. Sorry. This is the recipe. You only need the gunpowder if you're going to make it a splash potion. And you're only going to need the redstone if you want to make it last longer. So, what you need is a water bottle, nether wart, a puffer fish, redstone, and gunpowder. But the bottom two are optional. So, you might be wondering, what the hell is this? Well... It's a new fish mine, uh, in the new update of Minecraft, and I'm going to show you how to get one. Okay, what you need is a fishing rod and water. All you need to do is fish for it as if you were fishing for any normal fish. So, when I catch one, I'll get back to you. Well, I got one straight away, as you saw. Um... The there it is. Okay. So now that I've caught one, I'll show you what you need to do with the brewing stand. Well, here is Spike. This is why it's called Dog's Lab because obviously my skin's a Rottweiler and then there's Spike there, so Okay, this is what you need. You need a brewing stand, put all, put, well, put your water bottles into the brewing stand. Then you want to put another wart in there and wait for this to go. Okay, once that's done, you will get an awkward portion with no effects. Now what you want to do is put a puffer fish in there and wait for it to finish again. Now that that's finished, you should have a portion of water breathing of three minutes. So, if you want it to be longer, this is when you, you add the redstone. And it should be eight minutes after you've after this is finished. So just wait for this to finish. Now that that is finished, you have your water breathing portion of eight minutes. And if you want it to be a splash portion... You just add one gunpowder and wait for it to finish. Okay, so now that's finished, you have your splash portion of water breathing. It goes down in uh, how long you have its effects wise, but you can splash it and it's quicker. So, I'll do a quick example. So now I'm in... Uh, survival mode, non-creative mode, put it that way. You can either drink your water breathing potion or splash it. And just so you know it works, here's me without the potion. As you can see, above my hunger bar, the bubbles are going down pretty fast. So, if I use the potion here, splash it and go under, the bubbles will not go down and you can stay under for five minutes as I got there. Or you can drink it and then you'll have eight minutes of being underwater without having to worry about losing health or anything. Okay, I hope that helped you on how to make a water breathing potion. Um, if you did like the video, please leave, leave a thumbs up. If you didn't, then obviously leave a thumbs down, so then I know that I need to improve my videos. 
and please subscribe. Peace.